Let's make an espresso before class. All right, it's time to make a DIY espresso before class. Here we've got our basin, which holds our water, as well as the, uh, the, uh, the, the, um, uh, uh, oh, uh, uh, shit, uh, the container for the beans, that's what we'll call it. So you want to put your espresso grind in here, then you're going to take a, a quarter cup to use as a, a DIY tamper, and, uh, you're going to just fit it over the, uh, the opening like so, and, uh, Put about 10 pounds of PSI there with your hand on the espresso because uh, you're going to want to make sure you have an even tamp. And um, you, as you can see, we have a little spillage there, but that's okay. Just take your hand and uh, brush the beans off of the top there like so. Nobody's going to notice the difference. Okay, moving on. Now, you need to fit this piece, which is the top of the pot. We'll call it the top of the pot. Uh, and... You, you, you need to you need to screw it on um, clockwise and then you're gonna take the entire mechanism the whole piece and uh, you're gonna move it over here and you're gonna put it on your stove top okay step one completed all right disregard the, the, the dirtiness of the stove top okay now we've uh, we've lit the uh, we've we've lit this uh, burner now we're gonna move on and we're going to take Oh, wait, no, I'm skipping steps. Okay, step two. All right, seeing as you're broke, and this is a uh, DIY espresso, a DIY latte that you're making before class, uh, it's unlikely that you have a whole um, quart or liter of, uh, of, or of milk, so you're probably gonna have to take half and half, which you use with your typical coffee, and um, and take half and half, which, uh, which doesn't, which doesn't froth and foam quite as well as uh, your 2% or skim milk, but you're going to take half and half, and then you're going to take the remainder, the what, what remains of your 2% reduced fat milk from uh, Select, and you're going to add it into the add it into the pot there. All right, now you're going to take this guy, and you're going to put it on a separate burner, but first, you're going to have to move the dirty dishes, because this is a DIY latte before class, and... Uh, you always have to have some kind of impediment. Oh, that was hiding the even dirtier burner. Okay, here we go. Now, lit. All right, all right, now now we're moving. Wait, but then you realize that that burner's too big, so then you move it back to the one behind it. Okay, now you want to be careful to make certain not to scald your milk here. That's where, uh, that's where you'll end up with some, um, some really nasty overtones you want to you want to have that hazelnut taste to your to your milk you want that 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 good dairy sweetness so you want to make certain that you don't burn this puppy all right all right now that the milk is heated up and you've got it into your uh your, your milk pitcher um you're going to take your frothing wand which is this this piece um this device here and you're going to insert it um depending on the height of your milk about a uh, about a half inch down i would say turn on Okay, and now you're gonna froth, and you're gonna want to create those. You're gonna want to create those um those those whirlpools. Look at those. Uh, you know, take this tide pool and turn it into a whirlpool. See how when I hit um the sweet spot, then you get these great concentric circles and you in these spirals, and you can see that the milk is really frothing there. You see the the hole there that uh where how the milk is uh, concave around the stem of the frothing wand, that means that you're getting maximum foam, okay? So we're gonna maintain this here for a minute. In the background you can hear uh, our, our uh, espresso pot is now, um, our espresso maker is now whistling, which means that it's uh, time to kill the heat. Ah, I spoke preemptively. Spoke a little too soon. Okay, that is just the escape valve letting off a little bit of excess steam. Okay, here we go. So, we're frothing milk, frothing milk, frothing milk. Bada bing, bada boom. When I come back next, you'll see the, uh, the finished product. So make sure to stay tuned. This here is the final final product, ladies and gentlemen, in a in a uh, vintage Patton uh, Theodore Roosevelt High School cup to go cup because you know when you're making your uh, broke boy 
uh, latte drink, you don't have time to, uh, to sit around and dawdle. All right, my name's Conrad Bascom. Uh, DIY barista, make sure you enjoy.